This is Amy Rich with amyrich.net. This is it, the 12th in the 12 projects of Christmas 2021. As you can see, I am using the Christmas to Remember sentiment stamp set, and specifically the Merry Christmas and the Little Mary here. I have a class, uh, which I do several times a year, and actually I'll be doing it in January, February, and March, called One Card, Four Ways. And One Card, Four Ways takes all of the same supplies for four different cards. So you see here, I am using the Eden's Garden Designer Series paper, which I, at the current time of filming is still available. And I have four squares um, of different designs. I also have four pieces of basic white cardstock that measure one inch by four and a quarter inches. I have four evening evergreen squares measuring three and a quarter inches and they are all textured with the Tasteful Textiles 3D embossing folder. I think that's what it's called. And then I have four card bases in soft succulent. So I am going to make four different cards but each with the same supplies and that's what we do at class. Oh I did forget um, something else. Each card is going to get two little gold holly leaves and when we get to those I will show you where they are from and also each card will have two of the wonderful gems the smallest ones here ah, I'm so excited about these cards all right so you're getting bonus here for the 12 projects of Christmas because this is four in one and we are going to start by scoring our card bases. Now, in class, I always like to do one fun fold. So we will do a little bit different scoring for the last one. But for, for the first few, we're going to take the four and a quarter by 11 inch pieces and score them in half at five and a half inches. So we'll do the first three that way. And then for the last one, we're going to score it at two inches. And then we're going to turn it and score it at three and a half inches. And that will be a gatefold card. So you'll see when we get there. That'll be the last one. I always, I always end with the fun one, the fun fold. So this class will be held the second Thursday of each month in January, February, and March. We are not making these specific cards though. All right, we'll be, we'll be doing a different project, but the same idea, all right? We're gonna use products from the new mini catalog. I'm so excited. So for card number one, we are simply going to take our strip of basic white, which is four and a quarter inches long, and that means it fits perfectly across our card. So we're going to add that white strip here. Then we're going to take our evening evergreen square and add that to the card. We'll overlap. We're going to get that evening evergreen kind of right in the middle. So just eyeballing it though. There's no measuring needed. I'm not that kind of stamper. So, And then we'll take the three squares and what's cool about these three squares is it really is six right because we can use the back side so for this first card we're going to use the back side of our dark piece and we're going to layer it um, so it layers over the edge of that white and leaves a little green border at the bottom and then we're going to take this one next so we'll the evening or the Eden's Garden designer series paper. Every piece has a foil, gold foil side. So it's got a gold foil accent in it. And so for some of these, I'll be using the gold foil side and others I won't. So the last one here, we'll use the gold foil side again and adhere that just like this onto the card so that our three squares sit one, two, three, right next to each other. Then we're going to add the Mary stamp. So I'm going to bring that in and then our evening evergreen ink and our Mary is just going to go right down here at the bottom. Keep in mind, I'm only doing the outsides of these cards. 
um, I will need to, of course, uh, fancy up the inside before I send them. Then we're going to add our couple of holly leaves. So I'm just going to use liquid glue for this. Probably was a little heavy handed there. <laughs> Don't tell. It'll dry clear, which is nice. All right, then we're going to add one there and then add the other one next to it as holly leaves are often depicted together like this. So we'll just add those. And then the gems. And I'm not shy about using my fingernails. <laughs> I do like my, my take your pick tool. I've actually been using that a lot now, but I don't think, oh yeah, it's right here, it's handy. Doot, doot. All right, so I'll, I'll do that. So I've got my uh, first card done. See how fast and easy they are, and sometimes I've got ribbon on them or other accessories. So next I'm going to do a vertical card. So remember we've scored that in half and we're gonna take our basic white strip and we're gonna add that to our card base. Sorry about my cord, it keeps getting in the way. We're gonna add that to the card base. So it's going to have about the same space on the left as it does top and bottom just like that. And then we're gonna bring in our square and add the other squares right on there. So we'll do a little bit of a border here. About, you know, if you cut um, three, three and a quarter, it fits these one and a quarter inch squares really well. And then we'll take the dark evening evergreen next. And I think it offsets good enough with the gold in there and the soft succulent color. We can add that to our square without any problem. And then finally, um, the more white one. Now what I love about this is that I'm using the gold foil side on all of them. And then I'm gonna take my snips and I'm actually gonna alter, alter this a little bit. I'm gonna cut out a square and you could certainly use your trimmer to do this if you're concerned about getting it straight. I am just fine. Um, I live with stuff, even if it's not perfect. So there you go. <laughs> and then I'm going to add that to my card next. And we're gonna put it at an angle so it sits like this and that point will go almost all the way um, to the right side of the card. So we'll just adhere that down. And then we're gonna bring in our, our gold holly leaves. And we're gonna put the first one on so that it kind of covers up that soft succulent space a little bit. And then the second one, of course, we'll layer right next to it. and maybe up just a little bit for this one. And we'll of course add our dots. And here I go using my fingernails again. Old habits are hard to break. <laughs> and then I should probably just leave the evening evergreen ink out because we're going to stamp our Mary right on there and card number two is done. So see how we're using the exact same supplies and just switching it up a little bit. That is one card four ways. Okay, next one. We've got our um, card base, and then we're gonna take our square that has been textured and adhere that. It's gonna go closer to the top than the bottom. Um, a larger border on top than on the sides, I should say. And then this time for this one, we are going to take our snips and we are going to banner cut the ends of this piece of white so that it makes it a little bit more interesting. So I go in the middle and then 
from the corner back up to the middle and that usually gets it relatively even and then I'm going to grab my Merry Christmas and I have it on really too big of a block but it's what I had handy so that Merry Christmas comes from that same Christmas to remember stamp set and I don't want to close that ink but I do want it out of the way and then we're just going to adhere that on plenty of adhesive. I want those corners to stay down too. We're going to adhere it here and actually I'm not going to do that yet. Oopsies. Take two. <laughs> then we're going to um, put the, the dark DSP and I want that to be um, about a quarter inch from the bottom like this. And then we will take this side of this piece and leave a little border, just like um, the border over here, and adhere that down. And then we're going to take this piece. So remember, one of everything on every card. Oh, we can't adhere that one yet either. <laughs> now we go in with the Merry Christmas. And the Merry Christmas is going to sit... Um, so that you've got that little border between the squares and the banner. And it's going to overlap that evening evergreen textured piece here. And then we're going to take this square and add it up here. So it's just a unique look, um, just a layout thing, you know, that looks kind of, kind of cool. And then we're going to do our holly leaves again so just a little in kindergarten we used to say dot dot not a lot just a little <laughs> I haven't learned well from my from my teaching years because sometimes I can be really heavy-handed with my glue and then we'll add that up here I am loving how these turned out. I think they're so pretty. All right, so we'll put our two gems on. And old habits die hard with the fingernails. We'll just use the fingernails and get those on there. Card number three, and now the fun fold. Yay! All right, so let's bring that in and fold those on the score lines. And we'll use our bone folder to get that really nicely creased. And the first thing we're going to do is add our square. So we'll put adhesive on there, but not all the way to the bottom end because that's going to hang over. So when I add this now, I'm looking for a border that is the same on top, left, and right. So we'll adhere that on and burnish it. And then let's get that bottom part done. And again, we are going to do the same thing to banner cut that white piece. All right, so don't forget now, um, you can find out about my classes at amyrich.stampinup.net and click events. Or if you are on Facebook, you can find it there as well. And then um, there will be a link where you will need to go sign up on a Google form. And if you have any trouble with that, please let me know. Um, but it is the easiest way for me to gather information that I need for the class. So now we're going to adhere our banner again with the Merry Christmas. And that's just gonna go at the bottom here. Um, leave a little space between that square Actually, you know what? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe I'd rather have it right up against. My sample has it right up against, and I didn't follow my sample very well, but I think I like the look better of it right up against that other one. And if you know me, you know I take, take apart cards all the time. And on camera, too. I don't shy away. 
you may as well know the truth about me. <laughs> then we're going to take the squares next and we will add those. So I'm going to use the side of this piece and we're going to put that, um, you know, pretend this is the bottom and we're going to put that little bit of a border, uh, which turns out to be a bigger border because there's, there's more evening evergreen hanging over, but um, and then this little border on the left. And then we're going to take this piece next. It is hard to put adhesive on the gold <laughs> because, you know, it's so pretty. But we're going to offset that one now and move that up a little bit. And then we're going to pop the third one up with dimensionals. So we're going to use... We're going to use four dimensionals because I like, I like how that looks um, and it doesn't sink then. And that will get adhered just um, up a little bit and to the left of center. So just like that. Now we just add our holly leaves. Oh my goodness. What do you think? I am loving these. Now remember for all of my 12 projects of Christmas projects, you can find blog posts about those at amyrich.net. So go ahead and check those out. Um, for project 11, I added a free tutorial, card tutorial. Um, and you know, there's just a lot of good stuff there. So go ahead and check that out. And once I get this on, I can add the last of the wonderful gems and oops and there we go so we've got all of our beautiful cards for one card four ways I gotta get this one to stay up a little bit better well let's really crease that <laughs> I think it'll I think it'll sit better and then this one. Oh, yep, this one. Thank you so much for joining me for the 12 Projects of Christmas 2021. If you have missed any of them, go back and watch. You can go to YouTube to watch all of the videos. And um, I'm excited that you have joined me for this video and, of course, the previous ones. And please hit subscribe so that you don't miss any of my videos. I will have um, continuous new ones coming up, especially with the new catalog. So I look forward to seeing you here again really soon and have a blessed Christmas.